Hey guys, Shocker from Shocky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about Samsung's brand new M8 Smart Monitor. This is a unique product because it is a monitor for your PC, and also it is a smart TV. The size is 32 inches. It is a 4K monitor, so it is going to be razor sharp. The refresh rate is 60 hertz, and it supports HDR10+. So let's dive in and see exactly what is going on here. I can even embed my smartphone into this monitor. So this monitor has special appeal for people that own Samsung Galaxy smartphones as well. I'm gonna give you guys more details about this feature in a little bit. Quick disclosure, this monitor was provided by Samsung for this review. So first and foremost, the design is superb. And right now it is attached to my computer. It is acting as my primary monitor. It is a clean design, comes in various colors. You can get it in four different colors. You've got thin bezels, as you can see. So that's always great. That means you get a nice immersive experience. Uh, you do have a metal base stand over here. Uh, that is heavy, so it keeps the monitor from moving around. And also there is an attachment that comes with the monitor, which is this webcam. So this thing attaches magnetically to the back of the monitor, just snaps into place. And you also get a pretty nice looking remote control to control the monitor, especially when you're going to be using it as a TV. And of course, the monitor is adjustable. You can actually push it up. As you can see, it will go up. And you, you get a lot of space at the bottom. If you want to put something underneath, maybe a little PC over here, that's fine. And then you can push it down. And then you have some tilt functionality. So you can tilt the monitor backwards a little bit like this. And then if you want to put it back again, you can straighten up just like this, okay? But that's all you get. You can tilt it and move it up and down. It does not swivel. Now, if you grab the remote control and you press the home button, okay, you are able to access all the components of this TV. Let me show you what's going on. So here we have the workspace. Here we have media. This is where you convert this into a TV. So you get access to the most popular streaming services, Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, HBO Max, all that stuff is gonna be here. And you even have access to Samsung TV Plus, which is live television. So this is gonna be your multimedia center, your streaming hub. And then if you go over here, all right, to the workspace, what this is gonna be is, it is gonna have access to your apps and devices. That's my smartphone. I'm gonna show you all about that in a second. Uh, you can connect remotely to a Windows PC using a software or a Mac, or you can actually use Samsung DeX through your phone. So if I click on this guy, it's gonna say launch Samsung DeX on your phone and connect it to your smart monitor. So I can use Samsung DeX by default on this guy. And look at this. I can actually access Microsoft 365 right from the monitor without even needing a computer. Just log in with your Microsoft account and it's gonna give you full access. And as you can see, I have full access to all my apps right over here, Excel and Word. And of course you can actually attach a keyboard and a mouse to the TV via Bluetooth or cables, and you can control all this stuff with the keyboard and the mouse, especially for work. Just look at me use Microsoft Excel that's built into the actual TV as a productivity tool. This could be very useful for some people. So that's what we have. We have the workspace, we've got the media space, and then we have the regular menu from where you can do all kinds of things. If I go to my settings, I can change the uh, picture mode, the brightness, and all that good stuff. Now, let me go back over to my PC under my apps and devices in the workspace section. So that's my computer right here, connected to the TV via an HDMI cable. I'm gonna show you something really cool. So here's my Samsung Galaxy smartphone. What I can do is I can pull this down and I can scroll over and I can go into smart view. I can click on it. Okay, and that's going to ask me to pick the smart monitor. It's just going to recognize that it's right here using the Wi-Fi connection. I'm going to tap on it. And right now I have the windows over here. I'm going to say start now and look at what happens. I get a multi view. My phone gets projected here and I still have access to my windows. That is crazy. And then, of course, on the phone itself, you have this button. I can tap on it. Take a look at what I can do here. Let me just tap on this here. 
uh, let's say multi-view controls. Let's say I just wanna show off the phone on the screen. I can simply go to layout and it's gonna give me this layout. I can have the phone like this with the windows even bigger, which is what makes sense. By the way, I can keep tapping on layout to move the area where I want the phone to be projected. By the way, if I play with the phone, it is gonna reflect right here. You can see that, okay? Tap this again, size. I can change the size as you can see. So for now, I'm gonna just gonna disconnect. I wanna show you one more thing. We talked about Samsung DeX. So if I wanna use Samsung DeX on the monitor wirelessly, all I do is pull this down, all right? Let's go to Samsung DeX right over here. It is right here, I'm gonna tap on it. Again, it's gonna say connect wirelessly. It's gonna choose the monitor for me. I'm gonna tap start and look at what happens. Connecting to the Saki Ultra S22 and it's going to project the Samsung DeX and now I can use this as a computer. So a great companion for people that actually own a Samsung Galaxy smartphone and need a monitor and need a smart TV. Now, whether you have it attached to your TV or you're using it as a streaming device, as you can see right now, it does have built-in speakers. So let me just click on this to play it. We have the speakers right now, so I'm gonna increase the volume. Saki, check it. In today's video, we will be doing a full comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Both of these smartphones are the current flagship offering. So let me pause it. So yeah, we do have built-in speakers, that is great. They're gonna get the job done, but I will warn you, they're not high quality speakers. They don't get too loud, but they're adequate. If you're looking for high quality sound, I do recommend buying another set of speakers. And again, on the remote control, you're gonna see that we have a button for voice command. So if I press and hold on this one, you can set up a voice assistant and you have two options. You can either go with Alexa or what you can do is you can use Bixby, all right? So you can do voice controls, no problem. I can tell you right now that watching movies on this or high quality videos is a pleasure. Samsung is a leader when it comes to high quality displays and this display is no exception. You get brilliant, vivid colors. You have deep blacks, which means you get great contrast. The quality of this display is no joke. And I can say with confidence that it does have accurate color reproduction. The only thing I wish it had a little bit better was the screen brightness. It does max out around 400 nits of brightness, which is gonna be fine in a regular room. But if you have a room that has a lot of daylight, you may not be able to see it perfectly. In my case, inside my office, I can see this clearly with all my office lights turned on. Now, one thing I thought was interesting was the detachable uh, cam over here, the webcam also comes with a little cover you can just put on it. It just snaps into place and that's gonna give you privacy. You can just turn off the webcam that way if you want to. As far as ports are concerned, we have a micro HDMI port, we have a USB port, and then we have another USB port that actually gives you 65 watt of charging power so you can connect stuff to charge it or use it as a hub. All right, so for some people, this could be the perfect monitor slash TV solution, all in one solution. So you can see I'm using it as a computer monitor right now, but if I want to, I can tap on the home button, for example, and I can access my workspace. Again, from here, you can connect to a Windows PC or a Mac remotely. You can do Samsung DeX, so if you have a Samsung smartphone, and you use Samsung DeX all the time, this monitor is perfect. And then of course, you can even access Microsoft Office right from the monitor without an additional computer necessary. So that's the work area. And then finally, you go into your streaming area and you can actually watch some live TV via the Samsung TV Plus or access all the major streaming services. This is just another Samsung product that is feature rich does a lot of things at the same time, and is priced pretty well for being a 4K monitor at 32 inches. It's really a monitor and a TV, and even a Samsung smartphone accessory, as you can see. So great multi-use monitor full of features, links to buy with special discounts is gonna be down below. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below as well.